Hello everyone, so this is a follow-up video to the last Wacom fix that I posted. Basically a couple of you have complained about the quality of the video where I'm rambling for a long time and not really offering a solution until maybe five minutes into the video. So this is a remake and also I'm just touching on a couple of other issues which have manifested themselves after last Windows update which kind of rendered a lot of Wacom and also some other brands of tablet like Huion kind of unusable mainly in Adobe Photoshop. So if you have faced any of the issues that I'm gonna mention uh, I'm gonna try to hopefully help you resolve them. So the issue that I have been facing with was mainly after I last updated my uh, Windows computer and I opened Photoshop, tried to draw something and basically here's what would happen. I would draw horizontal lines with no problem but as soon as I would try to draw a vertical line I would start like pan scrolling like crazy. I wouldn't be able to draw a circle, I wouldn't be able to draw a vertical line. The only way I would be able to do that by holding right click on my pen and then I would draw like a circle but then it would just like freak out and start like doing weird stuff. So I was kind of going mad and I thought my tablet is broken so first thing that I thought you know maybe I should update my drivers and it's a good practice that you kind of keep an eye on Wacom drivers. Uh, so first of all of course just go to Wacom uh, website and make sure you're running the latest version of drivers. Uh, now obviously that's the most obvious thing to do. Um, now let me just go through a couple of things which I have tried. Uh, some people have recommended if that was happening, uh, that's an issue caused by Windows Hing, just open your Wacom tablet properties, go to mapping and just disable Windows Inc. Now if that solves your issue, amazing. Uh, if it doesn't, basically in my case it's kind of created another problem, it fixed the scrolling but it disabled the pressure sensitivity. Now there's plenty of people on YouTube who say uh, and you know offer solutions of how to fix that and one of the solutions is to create this really tiny text document in the notepad and just paste these two lines of code which is hashtag space use win tab use system style of zero which is kind of saying you know telling Photoshop uh, to not use Windows Inc but use the old win tab uh, kind of behaviors for it. Now you have to save it in a particular location and you have to again call it PS uh, capital user config and then paste these lines of code which I will leave in the description and you have to paste it in uh, in this uh, address on your hard drive so C users your username app data uh, roaming adobe adobe photoshop blah 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 uh, if you can't see the app data and roaming and all these folders you need to go in uh, your windows settings and enable uh, windows to show hidden folders in your explorer now you just put this document uh, in this folder uh, and even if you disable windows inc like here you should be able to get your pressure sensitivity back so if that fixes your issue, all good, no more stress. Uh, now, in my case, it didn't solve the issue. Uh, what I had to do, I had to dig deeper. I went on a bunch of forums and searched a whole goddamn internet for the answer. And I found a post uh, on, I think it was Reddit, where Windows Inc. developer was kind of coming out and saying hey guys we kind of screwed up and certain applications such as Photoshop for example doesn't really like Windows Inc and what we kind of were programming it to do and even on the Windows surfaces people were experiencing the thing so that's kind of weird right anyway uh, there is a solution so you have this lovely little thing called command prompt which is like a terminal on Mac or Linux and you copy this line of code which 
is kind of similar to what we're doing in the text document for Photoshop, but this will hopefully apply to all applications. And what it does, it says, use legacy pen interactions model, not the latest Windows Ink. So if you want to enable that, you copy this first line of code, you post it here, press enter, and once it says operation completed, you're all done. Restart your Photoshop or better restart your machine and you should be all good to go. If for any reason you are starting getting some weird glitches and problems, don't worry, don't need to reinstall Windows. Just copy the second line of code, which will disable the command and you will be back to where you were. So, yeah, I hope that helps. It definitely helped me. Uh, I was struggling with uh, Wacom Cintiq 13 HD. It was doing this weird pants chronic thing when I was trying to draw. And I was also surprised that it was the same when I plugged in the Wacom uh, into a drawer, like the smaller, cheaper one. So the issue is there, it hasn't been fixed in the latest Windows update so far, so I hope that this helps. I'm gonna leave uh, the codes in the description of the video. Uh, if you like this video, if it helped you, please give a thumbs up, subscribe and leave a comment if it helped. And uh, yeah, hopefully it's going to give you a little bit of a peace of mind and you can go back to being an amazing artist. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.